I really didn't think I'd be a fan of this color combination, but oh, just you wait till you see the case. This is the NZXT H1. You can only get it currently in a white or a matte black finish. I decided to paint the case, at least part of it, so that, you know, I could have some of my own flair, my own personality on this first PC build of mine. Decided to go with a matte black and red color scheme. As you can probably see, the keyboard right here is also um, matte black and has got red RGB. My mouse here is also black and red. So I really like, like this color scheme and I decided to kind of keep this theme throughout my accessories. Even this USB bootable drive that I had windows on is matte black and red. That one actually just came like that. I just happened to match or maybe I, I planned it. I don't know. I went to Home Depot and got some of the painting equipment necessary to paint this beautiful, beautiful case um, red. Hopefully they have the color I want and the things I need. And uh, yeah, although we have to get inside and wear masks. So I'm driving, so I'm not, I'm not wearing a mask right now, but I will wear your mask. What we need is self etching primer because we need, we need it to stick to the metal. If you don't get self etching primer, you're probably gonna wanna sand the surface. So I figure let's get some self etching primer and then the paint color. Found it. It is twelve dollars and sixty-seven cents. So this is the chalk paint, and oh, it's in, okay. So the primer—it's weird. The primer and the paint is in two completely different locations. Hopefully, it goes on smooth. It's gonna be a matte red. The whole case is matte black, anyways, and everything's matte black. So I feel like the matte theme will run throughout. But found them, and I think this is. 1197 so all in all this whole paint job is going to cost me under 30 dollars and that's in poutine dollars not us dollars i think this is just um anodized aluminum i'm not sure someone correct me if i'm wrong but i created a layer for the paint to stick on using the self etching primer i did two or three light coats of that this is going to be my setup for painting this uh, case or the back part of the case. So kind of got a string that runs across here in, in the garage, just so I can hang the case uh, off of. So here it is, just hanging there. The self etching primer is in some warm water, not boiling water, warm water so that it warms up. And the warmer the paint, um, the quicker it, it uh, It'll dry off and then, of course, less likely to run once that uh, first layer dries off. But this is primer, so I'm gonna apply a couple coats. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll come back, apply about three or four coats of the paint, let that dry overnight, and hopefully we've got our final result. sand between coats to, to make everything even and uh, consistent, but I didn't want to deal with the dust or the extra work. So I figure if I got it right the first time by applying thin, even coats, then uh, that would be the best bet. I let the primer dry for 24 hours. I think you don't need to do that. You could probably not apply the base coat right away, but I figured why not just let it dry. I've got time. Um, we're still in stage two here in Ontario, so I'm not going anywhere uh, too fast, too quickly. So I, I was gonna be patient with it to make sure I got it right. The next day I applied the first coat, a very thin coat of paint. Um, sorry, I didn't have any footage of that. Basically the same process as with the self etching primer. Light, even coats, just to ensure consistency. Uh, I let that first uh, couple coats dry for the next 24 hours, then I came back um, and applied a final coat just to ensure some evenness. And this is the final product. Now, you're probably wondering, like, why didn't you just paint the whole case? Well, I kind of just like the back panel here to, to be 
to be um, red, but I'll, I'll show you why I didn't paint the entire case as well. So here, just a, a bit of a side view, you can see the contrast between the uh, red and the black. I really, I really like it. Looks kind of cool, um, but you'll see, you'll kind of see why I uh, didn't paint the whole thing red because there's red RGB on the inside, which I think is really cool. I know my face is not in focus, but come on, just, just look at the case. It's beautiful, right? I wanted red to be the accent color, as you can see with the accessories that I have, uh, as well with the RGB. And funnily enough, I was talking to my girlfriend and I'm like, I don't think I want RGB. Uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy RGB. Lo and behold, the motherboard has a strip of RGB um, on it. And I saw that and I started playing around with the um, Gigabyte RGB 2.0 app. And I was like, oh my God, I, I think I want more RGB. So I went ahead and installed uh, some more RGB just to kind of round it out a little bit. Kind of lights up that Gigabyte sign there and that pulse that I have it on right now, which I think looks pretty, pretty sweet. I'll go over a few things that I, that I really like about this case. Um, I, I really like that it's small. It's, you know, it's not a giant tower. It's compact. I wouldn't say it's portable. I don't think you can put this in a, in a backpack and, and carry it around. Um, you can probably fit it in a Pelican case if you have foam dividers and you can carry that somewhere. You need to edit on site somewhere. I'll mainly be using this for editing and same day edits when some of my wedding clients request it. So I, I think I'll be able to carry this around with either a portable monitor or uh, this 32 inch monitor. Although that might be a bit cumbersome depending on the event space or the venue that I would have to edit in. A few things that I that I don't like about this case is this back little orifice here and these danglers coming out of the, the orifice. It's not as clean. But I do have I do have a USB hub actually, so I've got I've got one of one of these guys. It's got some I/O for USB 3.0 um, MS. I don't know what MS is. If you guys know what MS is, please let me know. Uh, SD cards and the small SD cards. I don't know what those are. Micro SD. My God, I should know this. I'm a photographer. <laughs> but it's got enough uh, ports for me to plug in my SD cards, transfer video files, photos, and that sort of stuff. I do have sort of the, the keyboard and the mouse plugged in to the back to the motherboard IOs. Uh, but like I said, if, if it's gonna be a bit cumbersome to sort of get under there and try and take things out if you've got to move stuff around. So, I mean, in a sense, it, it is a desktop. It's not meant to move around, but if you're thinking if you're thinking about moving stuff around, just keep in mind that might be a bit cumbersome to to sort of get around. One more thing that sort of bothers me is that I can't use the USB C header on the top of this case because of the B550 motherboard. There isn't a USB C uh, header that I could plug into, so I could have. I think I could have gone with a one from AS Rock or ASUS uh gaming and that would have the USB-C header but i think that was an extra 70 dollars and the b550 itx motherboards are already quite expensive um, as part of this build so um just a little unfortunate considering i'm coming from the mac world where everything's been USB-C since about 2016 or 2015. this has been sort of my experience painting the nzxt h1 and I love that with PC cases, you can really customize them to showcase your personality to however you want. I think I really value that in, in the PC space when, you know, coming from the Apple world where everything is clean, it looks good, it's minimalist, but a little bit of customization, I think, is, is always fun and you can get really creative with um, your components and your accessories um, and your PC parts. Hopefully you learned a few tips and tricks for painting your own case, and maybe you're gonna be adventurous enough to try and paint your own case. Give it a thumbs up if you found this um, useful. Uh, share this with people, I guess, you know. Thank you to the friends that and family, and hopefully strangers that like this content for subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.